Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in, in our FA18C and we're looking at the AGM 88C Harm. Now this is a missile, a seed missile, anti-radiation missile that it locks onto and tracks and destroys ground-based radars, either ship or SAMs or radar-guided AAA. Now it has three targeting methods, SP, TOO and PB that self-protect target of opportunity and pre-briefed now at the time of making this video we only have one option available which is the self protect so that's what we're going to use now the important thing is with this mode we don't have any ranging information so with regards to ranging we're firing in the blind regards to the actual range of the missile we've heard from wags that it can do 80 miles in optimum conditions so that is if you were flying at 50,000 feet and Mach 1.3 so that's the absolute best you can get Obviously, in more realistic scenario, you're going to be lower down, and therefore the range is going to be significantly less. Now, at first thoughts, it would seem that the best tactic is to simply go really high and really fast and launch from extremely long range. Now, we've tried this missile in a few missions now, and we found that's actually not the best way to do it. The reason is, if you increase your altitude and you increase your speed, then you increase your missile's effective range, but you also increase the SAM's effective range by the same amount. So it doesn't really seem to help. In fact, we found the best way to use this missile is on the deck. Now, on the deck, as long as you're going transonic, then you can achieve up to 20 miles, and that can beat just about every SAM out there. And this is because enemy SAMs find it extremely difficult to lock your aircraft up when you're lower to the ground, whereas you can lock them up pretty easily. Other than that, it's just the basic missile firing theory, which is just to say the faster you go, the more speed and energy you can get in the missile, so the longer range you'll get. Now, one thing to note is, although this missile is extremely big, it's four meters long or thereabouts, the warhead is relatively small at under 150 pounds, so it will kill well, just about any ground-based radar that you fire at. It will kill the majority of armoured vehicles that you're going to be firing at, but it'll do negligible damage to ships. We fired loads of them at, at ships and we can hit them pretty easily, but the actual damage you do often is, is not very high. Okay, so let's go to the arming screen. You can have them on pylons 3, 2, 7 and 8, so that's 4 total you can carry. Okay, so we're armed up and good to go. Next, let's look at the controls. Extremely simple to use, which is very nice. So the control that we use to cycle between targets is this. Uh, it's the I natural uh, binding for the keyboard. It's RAID for FOV uh, select. And to drop it, the weapon release button. Okay, we want to ensure that we've got our RWR turned on. Uh, this uh, We're going to use it in combination, like most seed weapons, in combination with our RWR or our EW. Uh, make sure we've got our dispensers um, set for use because we'll be using it in regards with that as well. So on this screen we're going to get our EW set. And on this screen we're going to get our store set. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's take off. Okay, we're in the air and we're looking for targets. So first of all we're going to set our EW page to HUD so that we've got our RWR displayed on the HUD. And we can see uh, two possible targets, two radiation sources, an SA-6 here and a U-Unknown here. You can tell it's a, this one's a ship because of the boat symbol beneath it. Okay, next we're going to select our harm. So master arm on, air to ground mode on, select harm here. We have a quick look. You can see that we've got that station selected at the moment of the four stations. And we can step to the different stations with here. We've got our three modes here, SP, TOO and PB. And we can only use this one at the moment, obviously. And we can see that we've got arm here on the HUD. So what we're going to do is we use the RWR here to hunt radiation sources. So we've got a 06 here and uh, the uniform here. We're then going to turn towards them. We're going to lock them up. To lock them up, we can cycle through these targets with the I key. And you can tell if it's locked up is because it's got a square around it. And let me see, yep, a square around it here. And if I were to unpause and press I, then we've got a square around that one. And we can cycle through all of the targets like this. Now, regarding uh, ranging this missile, there's basically three ways we can do it in the basic SP mode. If we know the location of the radar, then we can put a waypoint on that radar, and then we'll get uh, distance information from it like that. But if we're hunting SAMs on the fly like this, we won't get a chance to do that. Secondly, you can just guess, basically, and hope for the best. Uh, just use your, your general situational awareness. Or another way that we've actually found surprisingly successful is fly towards the SAM, at whatever height and speed you're going to do, like I said, really as fast as possible, 
and ideally with some decent altitude however it really doesn't matter that much because like i said the faster we go the higher we go the longer the range the sam gets so it kind of nullifies itself out in the end but we fly towards the sam we let it lock us up and then we let it launch on us as soon as it launches on us we know that we are in range because if any of the sams out there can shoot at us then we have range on that sam with the harm and that's how we've been doing some ranging so we then fire one or two of the harms off and then immediately avoid now we can then avoid the hostile missile because we're on an aeroplane and we can go into a dive and send chef out and stuff whereas the hostile radar can't move it's fixed to the ground or whatever and so it will inevitably get hit so that's a pretty good way of doing it in fact why don't we go and do it now on this sa6 so unpause burners on let's go and fly towards this guy So we have a SAM warning, he's locking us. You can see we've got him locked here because of the box around him. I'm just going to stay at Angels 15, there's not a great deal of uh, point of going any uh, higher. One uh, thing to point out as well, if you want to go really high, um, like 50,000 feet and lob a shot, just be careful because it's very hard for your aircraft to manoeuvre. It's a lot easier for the aircraft to manoeuvre lower down where there is uh, thicker air and for the engines to work better as well. Now this should only be used, I forgot to say, this should only be used in medium range SAMs or long range SAMs. There's no point of doing this to a SAM that just fires three or four miles because you're going to be in danger close up at that point. But if it's a medium range, an SA-3, an SA-6 or a long range, an SA-10, then this seems to work pretty well. Okay, launch. Magnum. Avoid. Chaff. Okay, we're pretty safe now. There's very little he can do to shoot us down, so I can go and follow the missile now. That's his missile. Almost no chance of catching us up now. And this is our missile. And there's almost no chance of him getting away. Crap. Uh, that's it, really. Pretty, uh, pretty simple, easy missile to use, even in the SP mode. I've nothing to add to that, really. Uh, my Personally, I find the best attacks at about Angels 15 to 20, like I did there, using that method I did there, and every time it's worked so far, and I haven't been shot down like that. So uh, that's my uh, 50 pence on that. I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.